Last time, we made cocktails from various establishments across the major cities in Starfield. This time, we venture off the beaten path to find some specialty items you may find on your adventures in the settled systems. Are you bold enough to try blend with its less than legal ingredients? Perhaps you need a little pick-me-up and prefer to try something like Runner's Rut alcoholic energy drink. We have these and more as we taste our way through the Starfield beverages. Astral Lounge Special Sangria is found in Neon. And while it's not a cocktail in the traditional sense, I wanted to make a sangria, so sue me. Wait, no, please don't. The game describes this as a fruit-infused red wine in a custom bottle, the shape of Neon's major domo, Benjamin Bayou. Sangria does require a couple hours of prep for the fruit juices to really infuse into the wine. So I made this earlier in the evening. I chose Apothic Red, is an affordable and widely available red blend wine option and apricot brandy to enhance the sweetness of the alcohol content. I'll use mixed berries muddled in sugar, since this is a special version of sangria, and orange slices to add acidity for balance. Two hours later. Let's see how it tastes. Some people prefer to drink their sangria just as a wine. No ice, no carbonation. That's what I prefer. So we're going to try it without, then we're going to add some black cherry seltzer for a little bit of carbonation and sparkle. Oh my goodness. So I did taste the Apothic Red, and it was really a pretty good red blend for the price point, which I think is somewhere between eight to $10. The extra fruit, the little bit of sugar, the little bit of brandy really just makes it almost warming despite being chilled. This is a fantastic standalone infused wine. Now let's try it with ice and a little bit of seltzer. I will say, the bubbles look nice. Yes, if you want to make a sangria to sit on the porch on a warm day and drink a nice, cool, refreshing beverage, you have to add the ice, you have to add the carbonation. Use a fruit seltzer water, plain seltzer, club soda. Put something in this to make it lighter, brighter, and refreshing for trying to keep cool in that really hot weather. If, however, you're having this as more of a winter drink, maybe you want to read a book in front of a fireplace and just relax, I would say forego the ice and the seltzer, just drink the wine. It is beautiful as is. Head to the Astral Lounge in Neon and speak with Boone Morgan to get a commemorative bottle of your very own. This special wine mix will bestow you with 12% persuasion, but at a loss of 15% O2 recovery for five minutes. Runner's Rush is served exclusively at the Red Mile on Parima 3. This is a cocktail made with vodka and an energy drink, but I've added a little extra flair to my version. Note that this is a mix of uppers and downers. 
which can have negative side effects for some people. So please know your limits with a beverage like this. If you don't drink caffeine, if you avoid that, then you can still make a delicious cocktail using the Benedictine and the grapefruit juice. It's not going to be high alcohol content. You can go ahead and add the vodka if you want, but the original cocktail and the pronunciation I'm gonna butcher is a pamplemousse and it's just grapefruit juice and Benedictine. So there you go. The slightly bitter flavor of New Amsterdam vodka helps balance the sweetness of the drink. Benedictine will add a spicy and herbal flair. To give us that bright pink color, Monster Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red is a grapefruit flavored energy drink. There you have it, a runner's rush. Hear me out, hear me out. That is actually good. I tasted the Monster Ultra Zero Ruby Fantasy Red. Gosh, it's just like very weak grapefruit with nasty fake sugar. But when you get the vodka in there, it cuts through that fake sugar and it makes it almost disappear. When you get the Benedictine in there, it brings this extra little herbal note to that kind of citrusy flavor of that energy drink. I was not expecting it to work this well. I did taste test it, but it was just a splash of the ingredients and not to scale just to see if it was not totally terrible and it wasn't totally terrible, but built to scale. This is really good and I would totally crush one of these before running the Red Mile. This is so much better than I had hoped. The Red Mile can be found on Parima 3. Bartender Sadi Chandra will sell you this stimulating beverage. Since the Red Mile Challenge requires speed and stamina, this must-have drink will bestow you with 20% movement speed, 50 damage resistance, and a bonus 20% O2 recovery for three minutes. You might want to grab more than one. The next cocktail on the roster is Blend. This is sold in neon at Le Grand's Liquor. This is marketed as a carbonated alcoholic beverage blended with caffeine and a potent secret ingredient. It's Aurora. Oh, spoilers, I guess. Since I can't use drugs in this cocktail, I had to get creative. In order to keep with the pink and purple and orange color scheme of the can, I decided that some sweet and colorful fruit-based liqueurs were needed. We have rum agricole to fulfill the alcoholic part. Agricole is made from the actual sugarcane juice itself, not molasses like regular rum. And remember, always be mindful when mixing alcohol and caffeine. Yes, thank you, Binks. The liqueurs I chose are creme de cassis, creme de framboise, and apricot brandy. Rum Agricole brings a vegetal and earthy note to balance the sweetness of the liqueurs, and Red Bull fulfills both carbonation and caffeine. Our secret and legal on earth ingredient is edible glitter.
before I taste this gorgeous cocktail, I want to emphasize I made this at least eight times trying to get it right. Using shaved ice, you don't have a lot of time to work with. If it looks like it's changed, it's because I had to film the final view before I filmed the tasting so that it wouldn't melt too much. That said, I'm still shocked at how well it's keeping the differentiated colors with the dark to the mid to the light and then the little bit of purple on top from the luster dust. As it drinks down, the flavor profile will change and meld as you hit those new layers of the liqueurs that are more dense at the bottom. So it'll be a really fun, evolving cocktail as you drink it. Yeah, the rum is floating on top um, with some of the Red Bull and some of the apricot from the brandies coming through. That's really what I'm getting on the top. And again, as you drink, you start to get all these really fun flavors from the raspberry and the black currant. I don't have time to sit here and drink the whole thing in front of you, but rest assured, this is not going to waste tonight. Here's the deal. You don't need the caffeine in this one either. If you just want a nice, fruity, rummy drink, go for it. You can use white rum, you can use dark rum, you can use the rum agricole like we use today. Any of them will work because it will balance very well with these sweet, fruity flavors. Don't use coconut rum. Never use coconut rum. I will definitely be making a less complicated version of this to drink on a more regular basis because this is very, very good. I got to some of the raspberry in that one. It's so fun. Try this one. Put in the comments what you think. It's delicious. Give it a shot. If you're feeling up to trying questionably legal things, head to Legrand's in the Market District in Neon and speak with Yannick. He may also have a side gig for you if you're interested. This trip in a can will slow time for you by 16% for 10 seconds, increase damage resistance by 60, and decrease your O2 recovery by 20% for three seconds. Our last cocktail is called a Supernova. This can be purchased at the viewport after completing a quest for Nissa. For this beverage, we need shaved ice to get that nice slushy texture. Unlike the previous drink, this one relies on it. So, I'm using this bad boy. This might be the best $29.99 I have ever spent on Amazon. I have never had a slushy maker this good. Link in the description. Also, not, not sponsored. But if you don't have a slushy maker, use crushed ice. It'll taste the same and it's delicious. This beverage took more practice than any other cocktail I have ever made in my life. I think there are no less than two dozen attempts. And I have had so much gin and rum over the past couple weeks trying to get this refined for you. And I still have yet to get it perfect. We've got one shot today, so let's try one more time. We'll start with grenadine for the alien fruit and add a splash of blue curacao orange liqueur to make it sour and blurple. Creme de violette with its floral notes will be our liqueur along with the Empress Indigo Gin to enhance the floral with juniper and allow us to do some cocktail magic.
present to you the best supernova I have made yet. At the last minute, I decided to do the violet and the gen floated on top of that because the Empress Gen is infused with butterfly pea flower and that allows you to do some really fun cocktail magic. When you add an acid to it, like lime juice or lemon juice, um, tonic water works, it will turn it into this bright pinky purple color. This is the key ingredient to pulling off this drink. It's the only way to get the proper color gradation. Anybody who tries to make this is going to fail unless they use butterfly pea flower infused spirits. I have tried dozens of iterations on this drink and that is the only thing that has worked. It's because I changed how I did it at the last minute while I was filming. With that, I'm able to get the gradient from the blue to the light purple and boom, super nova. It's magic. All right, let's actually drink this thing. If you use a straw, you're gonna drink the syrupy liquids at the bottom first. It's gonna be very sweet, uh, maybe a little overpoweringly with the blue curacao, but you raise the straw just a little, sip from the middle, mm, this is good. The violet brings those really floral forward notes. The gin helps to moderate that a little bit with its herbal notes and the juniper. The blue curacao, of course, is those orange notes and the grenadine is pomegranate. So we've got some nice fruits in there balancing the floral and the herbalness of the gin balancing all the sweetness. If you want to make the best version of this, just mix it all together. Yeah, it's fun to layer it to get that supernova effect, but this is not like blend where it's fun to change flavors as you go. It's either really syrupy on the bottom or really ginny and sour on top. So it's better to have this mixed together if you want the best version of this cocktail. This beverage can only be purchased at the viewport from Nyssa after completing the quest Distilling Confidence. No spoilers here, so if you want a top to bottom walkthrough of this quest, Emily's Game made a great video and I have a link in the description for you. This adult slushy will increase your persuasion chance by 12% and increase your total O2 by 20, but decrease your O2 recovery by a substantial 25%. And there you have it. Another set of beautiful beverages. Delicious too. Some of these are much more intensive and require planning ahead or special equipment, but they are well worth the effort. Next time, I have a very special set of beverages that you are going to love watching me drink. But I am going to hate tasting. You definitely won't want to miss this one. So boop that like button, smash subscribe, and I'll cheers to you in the star field. That was a bad idea. The game describes this as a feut... Feut. The game describes this as a feut infused... The game describes this as a feut infused... The game describes this as a feut infused... Go lay down. You're distracting me. That's not laying down. The game describes this as a feut in... Another set of beautiful beverages. Don't nose that again. Good girl. Sir, what are you doing? Are, are you providing the outro? Maybe. Think about it. Sir, not your oranges. Thank you, good boy. Thanks, we're all in here.